Hey guys, Tech here. And today, we're going to be playing with a new regulator. It's the UCC 283 Adjustable Regulator. Now I have this nifty little uh, diagram here I was working on today. I'm not so sure how well it's going to all show up on YouTube, but I'll be posting this in several of the major forums, including ECF and Babertron. Um, anyway, this is the UCC regulator, which is the top right. And basically, we're going to put this into an Altoid stick. So we got our regulator right here. And that's connected to two capacitors down here. Now let me just lighten this up a little bit. Now, I couldn't find a very good symbol for my... Uh, push button switch but that's this part right here it's just a standard push button um, got a couple of 18650 battery holders here you know nothing too fancy they're pre-made you can buy them on ebay two cell three cell four cell or single cell uh, couldn't find any good components for the added connector but that's where the added connector go if you wanted to put a voltage meter in you do it in parallel to the added connector and we got a, our 100k pot again. I couldn't find the symbol I would have liked, but it's a 100k pot across pins from left to right, three, four, and five. And there's three pins on the potentiometer. I'm using a 25 turn cement pot with three pins. Not as accurate as a 200k would be in this setup. Kind of wish I had the 200k, but got the 100k. Um, like I said, up here, two capacitors. I'm using tantalum capacitors. And, uh, well, let's, I guess, get to it then, huh? Alright. Uh, all I've done is I've trimmed back the leads and removed the second pin in from the left on the UCC-283. We're not going to use that because we're going to be using a heavy-duty 3-amp switch. I also went ahead and started a wire to the center to ground. And then my camera's not focusing. Uh, put the tantalum capacitors in. I'll put that diagram up in a minute. Okay, so we have this. I also went ahead and uh, took the two battery holders that I have because I have singles, put them together, taped them, uh, heat shrunk, and soldered the positive and negative. This is a stacked battery mod, even though the batteries are parallel. We got ourselves the famous. Uh, RU R13-2.43 amp 125 volt AC switch, which will be fine for this mod. These usually hold up at least six months for me, so that's something to uh, keep in mind. Uh, we're just gonna put it in, kind of take it from there. Uh, I pre-put in the connector because that takes a few minutes to braise it. You can see some discoloration if you get it a little too hot, but uh, you actually fill the whole area around the connector with silver solder, creating a seal in your ground into the mod. That way it just kind of keeps everything from being able to blow at you. But uh, there's an inside look. Okay. Now we gotta finish wiring up this uh, this regulator before we go any further which all I have to do to this regulator really is put on the potentiometer and then add the input wire so I'm just going to solder now everything is tinned but these pins are so damn tiny And it helps if you would set up the wires correctly. There we go, we got one to stick. And that's a text message, of course, when I'm trying to record a video and I haven't done one in months. Now, for starting to these tiny pins, you really gotta have a fine point on the soldering iron. 
because it's not easy. Okay. Now, our left pin is input, our center pin on the regulator is our ground, and our right pin is the output. Keep that in mind while building these. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to add our couple of wires here. And we just had a little stop there for a second. Um, nothing major. Just getting back into the ground here. Okay, now this is the center pin for the atomizer connector. I like to remove it completely, especially when brazing, because you get the whole connector very, very hot. Take solder about 800 degrees to uh, melt. We're gonna let that cool off real quick while we get the wires ready for the while we get the wires ready for the regular. Now the positive input and output. The uh, positive input's gonna be coming off the switch, and so we want to add a wire for the regulator to go to the switch because the battery box is gonna go to the switch as well. Tin this wire. Okay, and then we're going to add this to the positive input, which is the far left pin. Okay, and as far as the positive output, that's coming up now. Uh, one of the hardest things to do is get that silicon grommet back in to the connector. I find a quarter inch, anything helps. Clean up the flux and all the junk, and the excess solder. A little emery board here. And that was a unsealed connector that's now a sealed. Very good positive mechanical connection. So we're gonna pop that right through, like so. That seems to be a pretty good length for where we're going, so I'm going to tin this up. Now, I want everyone to be mindful, you got to use good batteries. You can't just throw in any set of lithium ions that you find. If you do, you'll probably hurt yourself pretty bad. Remember, this is the positive input to the regulator. Okay. So our positive input comes off the switch, which I am not tinning. And the reason is, it's easier to manipulate the just bare copper wire around the untinned switch because, check this out. is now fully connected. Now, this one wire I have come off, that's my ground, okay, which is going to go to the tin right here. There's the battery box, let's just insert that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Looks like I only need about that much of the red off the positive. Now, this one I'm going to strip a little long. Twist, twist, trying to uh, stiffen this up a little. Now I want to note, once I am done with everything, I am going to be adding a heat sink to this regulator because it's known for getting warm. Uh, it does have uh, internal temperature cutoff somewhere as about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you're like me, that's a little bit high to want to try and get your mods. Uh, I should only need about that much ground, okay, this ground, okay, this one. Now, like I said, this is a rough assembly. 
what I'm doing is I'm actually rounding the tin. That way I don't have to solder to the connector again. And it also gives the entire body the negative. Let's spin her around. Drop this down and in. Now I did add a little solder spot to the bottom of the tin prior to beginning filming. This was to allow me to do this step right here. Spring is in the air, which means now is the time to stop by. You want to make sure you get good joints. You don't want cold joints. So sometimes you got to leave it there for a second and burn your finger. Your Lowe's consumer you know. credit card, you can get 12 months special financing on purchases of $299 or more. Plus, get 10% off major appliances $299 or more. Hurry into Lowe's for these and other great okay, now values I'm every just day. Lowe's, never leave that kind of kicking out for a second. Uh, grab some batteries. Usually you take your ohm meter, make sure you don't have shorts and resistance. You're not supposed to have it. Sometimes these cell batteries are a little tight. If they are, just go in and snip the spring a little. We're going about halfway on these springs. And that should fix that issue. Ah, yeah. So much better. Alright, so let's get our meter going. I have this handy little uh, lead set from Evil Woman. I do want to say thank you to Mamu for uh, providing the original schematic I'm basing this off of online. Get a little LED voltage meter, just to do a quick quick. Because this video is getting a little long for my likings at 11 minutes. So, here we go. Of course, there's never a screwdriver around when you really, really need one on that page. So, we're trying to rush. There, so the camera can see. 2.94, 3 3.6, 4.5, 6.4, we're gonna back it off a little. 6.7 so a little high. I like 6.3, that's pretty close to my life purpose. And then we're gonna grab the mighty cardamizer tank off the death box. Which I've been having fun with. How does she vape, Captain? <laughs> Another mod. Well done. Now I'm just going to finish this with epoxy and insulation all around it, but I gotta go. Check you guys later.